So I realize we may have caused some uh, anxiety with the release of our three-part cow birthing videos. That was pretty stressful for us too. <laughs> Try to document as much of this crazy as possible because not long ago, like within the last two years, Lara and I were a couple of city kids living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. <clears throat> we sold everything we owned, a business, a home, left our families behind, and pursued this crazy thing we all call homestead. So needless to say, helping a cow give birth not something that I'm real familiar with. And in the grand scheme of things, I think it went pretty well. There's a lot that is intimidating and frightening living the way that we do. One thing that we're not afraid of is trying, trying new things, uh, learning new things, uh, learning from experience, and putting ourselves out there. Milo. Hey. Hi there, you buddy. We sincerely appreciate you joining us on this journey. We appreciate all of your positive comments, your prayers, uh, your encouragement. It is very much needed. So what we put together for you with uh, Jewel and the birth of Milo happened on Christmas morning. Uh, I woke up about four o'clock in the morning and she had just started laboring and... What's up buddy? Yeah. There are three eggs in that planter pot with the fig tree in it, if you'll grab them. Uh, okay. Did you find any in Rocky's coop? Yes, sir. I found one in the little uh, green tote thing we made. The brooder? Uh huh. Cool. And then I found one in the chick shaw. Very cool. Took us a while to edit through several hours of footage to make you the videos that we did. That's why we made a three part series because it was so much and there was so much that we didn't want to take out, uh, but we wanted to show and share with you. But also, there is a new routine. Um, we have never milked a cow on our... <clears throat> we have never milked a cow on this homestead, on our farm. Uh, Lara has milked with Justin Rhodes before, uh, but other than that, that is the extent of our experience. Uh, also, it was a pretty uh, traumatic experience so we wanted to make sure that everybody's health was in good order. We spent a little time putting together a game plan. Whoa! For our garden. Uh, springtime will be upon us really quick. 
and we're trying to get ahead of the game and uh, plan for February to plant seedlings or to plant seeds to grow seedlings so come March and April we can put uh, plants in the ground as big as we can get them so, I appreciate you joining us and we look forward to sharing much much more with you and we would appreciate it if you would continue to share with us through comments we will add uh, Facebook and Instagram to the description if that's your thing So speaking of new routine, this is a little bit of what it looks like. Yep. Spend, uh, we actually spent a lot of time before she gave birth playing this game with her just to get her used to it. Yep. And now Lara and I spend quite a bit of time. Hanging out together. Yep, milking Even this Even more so than before. Yep. Mr. Milo drinks as much milk as he can possibly handle and Miss Jewel is kind enough to still provide us with, what would you say? About four, five gallons a four day. Four or five gallons a day. Easy, yeah. <clears throat> most days it's close to five. Sometimes it's a little bit less than that, but for the most part, we're bringing in five gallons a day and he eats as much as he could possibly eat. She's a mess this morning. <laughs> Good. Mr. Milo not fond of the roosters. <laughs> this guy is so excited. Hungry boy. Hungry boy. Good job, Jewel. She's a good mama. She's a good mama. I have a surprise for you. Oh! I just ran into a tree. Look. I have a surprise for you. Oh yeah, happy girl, happy baby. I'm gonna get much better than that. Mr. Milo, try to pet him as much as possible because one day, very soon I think, he's gonna outweigh me and I want him to be my friend. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Is Jules happy with her molasses? Whoa, look at you, girl. This is Miss Ethel. She's a big sister now. Lucy's first baby. So for those of you that saw Ethel's a big sister, or Ethel has a little sister video, uh, this is the new one. She's doing just fine, getting along with everybody. There's her mama, staying close. And yep, she is jumping around and playing and having a good time. She's doing great. So now, we let these guys out into a larger paddock. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's a lot of predator pressure out here. So we keep them in this small area in the barn in the evening time, uh, also for milking. And then when we're done, milking them and milking Miss Jewel, Mr. Grant 
typically is the one that lets them out and they know it look here they come they're ready there's a big round bale out there for them and a play set and much more room thanks grant It is so heavy this morning that I have called for backup because I don't think I can lift this. <laughs> I mean, I can. So you said milk is nine pounds per gallon. Nine pounds per gallon, yep. We're about to find out how many gallons this is, but this Bless is... Uh, it's a five gallon bucket almost. Yeah, so I have enough jars out for five gallons. So we will see what we get. Now, that Abundant Permaculture Premium Membership was worth every dime. Agreed. The fact that I can send Justin Rhodes a text message and he answers me and cracks jokes back at me is great. <laughs> Love it. Holstein seems to have been the way to go. So the verdict is three and a quarter gallons. In one milking. <laughs> so keep in mind, we will milk her again this evening. Yep. And Milo will be eating all day. He is super full of energy and super healthy, so there's no shortage of milk for him as well. Oh no, she holds it back like crazy. I can't imagine how much he drinks. Mm -mm. Plus what we get, I mean, that is an unreal amount of milk. Yep. Girlfriend produces very, very well. We knew she was going to. Um, she came from a dairy farm, but it's just a lot of milk. So, anyways, now to make butter. <laughs>